Hi everyone. Uh, today we have a uh, session on uh, generating Cucumber reports. So let's quickly get over to the uh, my Cuckoo project. I've already pushed this project uh, onto Git. Um, let's see what are the different components that we have as part of this uh, project. Uh, in the SRC main Java, we have the base class where we have uh, initialized the web driver object. In the SRC test, we have the uh, Cucumber Runner class, where we where we have defined the uh, feature files location. So this is right here, features, login feature. We have a scenario in here. Register feature. We have one scenario, and the search feature. We have one scenario. So if we go to the Cucumber Runner class again, we also have uh, include the step definitions which are available in this step definitions package right here so login steps uh, it covers the login feature functionality search steps cover the search feature and I think the register feature should be covered uh, as part of the search steps because the steps are pretty much similar to the search feature yeah so let's go to cucumber runner class so if we take a look we also have this plugin component defined in the cucumber runner which uh, generates a cucumber json file or cucumber json report in the target directory so the intention of uh, defining this plugin component in here is to take the cucumber json as the source file and then convert it to the cucumber html reports and this conversion is being done by the maven cucumber report plugin which we've defined in the palm.xml so let's go over to palm.xml and right here we have the plugin defined so this plugin is taking the cucumber.json file from cucumber reports uh, folder in the target directory. Uh, I've actually done this a uh, couple of times now. So target cucumber reports. So right here cucumber reports. This is where the JSON file is getting generated. And this we have already defined in the uh, Cucumber Runner class right here, cucumber.json target. So this is coming from here. And in the palm.xml, so here the Cucumber JSON gets generated, and from here this plugin will convert this cucumber json into a pretty html report and would place it in this particular folder in the target directory go cucumber reports which is right here so let's get into the action let's get over to the command prompt and start the execution before that let me just try and change this to Go from Cucumber Reports. So start. Uh, go to the project part. Okay, let me do a Maven clean. They should clean up the target directory. Okay, the build is success. So if we refresh the target, there you go, the target is all cleaned up. There you go. Let me now do maybe clean install. It should now try and run the feature files meaning you should try run the uh, test
Okay. Running cucumber run at last. It says. So whatever we have defined in the Cucumber Runner class, all those feature files will be executed as part of this run. Okay, it's now trying to run the uh, first feature file the login feature Okay, it's now executing the second test. I think this is the third test that it has run and yep it says three scenarios three passed, 11 steps 11 passed it says about to generate cucumber report and then success so let's go to the target folder and refresh okay and it has generated the cucumber JSON report in cucumber reports and we also have cotton cucumber reports and in here we have several uh, HTML reports. So let's go to feature overview.html. Open this in the web browser. And as you can see, 1st October 2018, 1239. So we have three different feature files that have been executed. All of them are passed. And we have the duration for each of these feature parts that got executed so if we go over to tags we have no tag steps we have all the steps failures we have no failures so the features if I go to login profile scenario steps we have all the four steps and the time it took for all the four steps I go to the second feature file, register profile, which is the first time, and this has three steps. And then search profile, we have search first time, steps, we have four steps. So it's pretty simple and easy. All we have to do is have this plugin defined in the form.xml. Thank you very much. See you around.